hello welcome to my channel uh, this time we are going to look more on how to insert illustrations in microsoft office word and these illustrations involve pictures online pictures shapes smart art chart and screenshot uh, last time we looked at how we can insert pictures and online pictures this time let's look at how we can insert shapes how we can insert smart art uh if time allows possible even charts and screenshots but let's look at how can we insert a particular shape in microsoft office word if you want to insert it somewhere you first click there insert a cursor or insertion point if you need it to be in space you can press the return key then you go to shapes uh, from shapes these are recently used shapes you can pick any of these shapes from recently used if for example you want to insert um, an oval you click an oval then you bring your cursor within an area where you want to insert the uh, oval the cursor now appears like a plus so to insert it there you click uh, then you drag to make it appear bigger then you insert it in exact position and you can pick this uh, the size handle to make it fit if you need a bigger space maybe you can press return key then you click your shape and you can resize it in any dimensions so that is the, our shape that we have inserted it is a circle and when you insert a shape on the ribbon you get a new tab which is drawing tools under drawing tools you have format you click the format tab and uh, you can change it in different uh maybe you can change its color possibly you need that color that is shape fill then shape outline if you need to change its outline and then um, maybe you can come to edit shape in editing shape you can even change the shape itself maybe you want one for the heart click that one so the shape can change you, you don't have to go back to insert any uh, change shape you just come here and uh, drawing tools format then edit shape and then change shape you can change a shape the interesting shapes here for example call outs you click call out so the the, the shape has changed to call out a call out is something that you can use maybe you want to type some text edit something um you right click then you say add text uh, we are inserting a smart smart art uh, we are inserting shapes so so this is a, a shape that we were, we've inserted. You have seen these callouts. Usually they are used in cartoons. If you want a cartoon to give it some emotions, maybe to talk, you pick this one and then you take it wherever you want this uh, idea to come from. Okay. Yes. So that is uh, uh, a shape. Um, to emphasize more, if you want a shape there you click there insert you press return key then you go to insert on the insert insert shapes you click the shape and then you pick a shape of your choice and then you adjust it accordingly maybe you need this one so you put it there uh, you drag you keep down the click and move the mouse so there you have inserted your shape remember you pick this one to rotate it 
if you want to rotate it yes uh, still under drawing tools format then uh, shape fill maybe you want it when it is black then the shape outline maybe uh, you want it when it is white um, this is position where do you want to position it on the page though this one does not give you freedom to put it exactly where you want it will put it either on top of a page in the middle or at the bottom and then uh, in a particular position these are now shape styles yes you can pick a style all of this is just formatting your shape to give it certain appearance and then uh, here you can insert a steel shape if you want to insert more shapes yes they are there there is a scribble for example if you want to scribble you click there um insert insert shape uh you want to maybe you want curve the connector you click and move then uh yes that is then you can drag it and take it wherever you want this one uh -huh. move that one so that is how we can insert shapes within our document not a big deal or uh, maybe i want to insert further there now this time i don't want to insert a shape maybe i want to insert a smart art i go to insert insert click smart art uh, these are the different smart arts you start with all or you can come to a particular category like a list these are the different lists each list you click on it will appear here and then the description is just down there so you pick the description you pick what you feel like there is even a vertical scrolling bar here yes each one that you click it gives you this one if you want for example pyramid list used to show proportional interconnected or hierarchical relationships text appears in the rectangular shapes on top of the pyramid if this is the one we want to insert you click ok and then it will be posted within your document where you had clicked where you put the cursor then from there you insert the text so what would you like to uh, add that kind of pyramid maybe you can say basic basic needs uh -huh. then whatever whatever you want to add there so you keep on adding um your maybe select the steam then maybe select sure validation yes if you wanted the a pyramid of that nature okay so you drag it and even still after you can see our ribbon uh, a smart art tool has been added it has its design these are the designs yes you can change them if you want them in any of those formats you click that and then you get all of them okay or maybe you still feel this one then these are smart art styles you can change the style of your smart art you click this to see all the styles at a go yes uh -huh. let's pick that one that is good then there is even changing the color if you want to change the color yes you can change a color pick that color um and so on and so forth so that is how we insert smart arts 
within our document you click where you want a smart art to go then you go to insert smart art and the smart art there are many different types of smart art there is a list there is a, a process these are processes you pick a process of your choice uh, there is a cycle if you want to insert a smart art cycle you need a cycle of any sort maybe you need the hierarchy for example organization chart if you want to insert organization chart to get here if you want that one then you click ok <clears throat> so the organization chart will be inserted for example maybe we need the organization chart for a school this is head teacher it's the one on top then under him maybe there is deputy deputy academics um, then there are two deputies so you right click on this very smart art and then you go to add a shape add a shape after before above below add assistant let's say add a shape after yes because we know there is another deputy deputy administration yes uh, maybe under deputy administration you right click add a shape uh, add a shape maybe add an assistant yes deputy administration can be assisted by uh, who dean dean of school dean of school then maybe deputy academics can be assisted by you right click assistant below uh, director of studies dos then the dos right click under the dos we add the assistant maybe there is um head of department hod's like that like that so that is how if you want if you don't want this one you click on it then you can delete maybe under head teacher there are other people who are directly under him uh, maybe we can put like what I'm not very conversant with uh, the school administration so much but there are some people who do not who report directly to the head teacher maybe we can say hp head prefect hmm? could be is supervised directly by the head teacher for that case maybe we have others maybe we have like a librarian i'm not sure i'm just putting just to populate my whatever it may be if under the librarian there is something you can right click then you can add a shape maybe you add a shape above hmm? maybe above the librarian there is um someone else someone else that one can be added maybe you had forgotten so that is how we add the shapes uh if you need to copy this shape from here you select then uh, you click copy you go somewhere you would like to have this other shape and then you uh, control v to paste okay or you select it then you control x oh, sorry you select the entire shape then you control x to cut control n to add a new blank document control v to paste what you have cut from the other side so folks that is how we can insert um, a shape we can insert a smart art okay. smart arts they are of different in, uh, types that is relationships matrix pyramid picture and then uh, the office.com so these are some of the smart art so it is all about you inserting whatever you want to insert and then you keep adding text to see whether it fits your test 
So next time we'll be looking at how we can insert uh how we can insert a chart. Thank you very much. Uh please do subscribe if you have not subscribed and share the resources with other people. You can share on your social media, in your email, you can tell a friend, you can also send me a comment, please ask for anything that you would like me to to look at. Yes, there are many, many, many in Microsoft Office Word. We are still developing, but when you subscribe, hit the bell so that whenever a new item is added, you get a notification. Thank you very much. God bless.